Visit but don't stay, is that what you were saying in the break? <laughs> All right, we're back with two people who would like to be the next mayor of Knoxville. John North, uh, my colleague, with a question about economic development and also growth. Right. So um, to both of you, uh, I'm curious about your thoughts on the use of tax increment financing and other uh, means of accommodating development such as a pilot. You will definitely be encountering them when you are mayor, one of you. So Eddie, let's start with you. What do you think? Is it, is it, does it remain a good tool? Have we overused it? What do you think? I think that TIFs and pilots, I've always been in support of TIFs and pilots. And, and if you look around, I don't think that the downtown redevelopment would be nearly what it is today right. had we not had TIFs and pilots. And one that I specifically worked on was University Commons. And if you look at what that was versus what it is today, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty large change that those incentives really helped get that done. And what people need to understand, and TIFs and pilots are not corporate welfare. I mean, there's, you know, and so when you understand that, I think it's important. But when I look down uh, through the Magnolia Corridor down through East Knoxville, I say over and over that, you know, if we can use incentives there, that is the prime real estate, that's the prime place we need to use incentives, and maybe the incentives are just facade grants, but I think there's lots of opportunities that we should look. I think, I think downtown has done great, and I want to continue that growth in downtown. But when it comes to incentives, I think we might want to look outside of downtown. Stretch it. India, what do you think? I, am, I do support TIFs and pilots. I think that they can be a great tool to uh, promote revitalization for projects that need that extra bit of funding to make it work financially. I also think that uh, it's been great to revitalize downtown, but I would like to see the use of TIFs and pilots along the Magnolia Avenue corridor, uh, Chapman Highway. We have this federal program that's brand new called Opportunity Zones, and I think uh, the city of Knoxville under my administration is going to do a good job of trying to make sure the people right here in Knoxville who have those entrepreneurial ideas, who want to innovate, who want to start and grow their businesses, know about the Opportunity Zones, know what it means for their business and access to capital. Because there are a lot of people with great ideas, but they need that capital to make it work. And Opportunity Zones can be a way to link them to that. So I think uh, TIFs and pilots and spreading it beyond downtown, that's where I'm going to go in my administration. Maybe along Broadway as well. Broadway too, Chapman Highway, Magnolia, Sutherland. Uh, there's no shortage of places that could use the uh, extra incentives. And I think the city can also um, focus on breaking up large parcels into small, manageable development things. So we can, as you said, promote local developers who are going to keep their money and their employment and their profits right here rather than having projects that are so big that only out-of-town developers get to benefit. So let's shift now to talking about growth, and we joked a little off camera. It's been my privilege to live in this city for most of the last 26 years. I have seen it grow, but I'm beginning to be worried about the direction we're going. It's a hassle going to Nashville anymore. I, I sort of hate to utter that city's name. I like Nashville, but it's becoming a hassle to get over there, and I want what we have here to be saved and protected. I don't want to overdo it. Both of you in your opening remarks kind of touched on that. How do we do that, India? Well, you know the old saying, there's nothing constant but change. So we are changing and we are growing, and we can see that as an opportunity or a threat. I choose to see it as an opportunity, but we have to embrace that opportunity and make sure that we don't have congestion, that we don't have sprawl. I think Recode is a step in the right direction because it helps channel that growth into the corridors that already have the, co the infrastructure, the sewer lines, the sidewalks, the bus lines uh, that can handle additional growth. And also, um, in, it, it responds to the market. You know, the government can't change what the market demands are. If people want to live here, they're going to come. So we need to respond to that and channel it in, in ways that continue to protect our quality of life so we have a healthy, sustainable future. Eddie. Yeah, John, I think, I think we need to be intentional about our growth. I agree. I tell my employees all the time, there's no, there's no neutral. You're either moving forward or you're moving backward. There's, there's no just status quo where you are. And so I, but I do think, I don't think that we will... I think we've learned by looking at Nashville, it's like we don't want to be that way, and I think there's been a lot of things learned by that. So, uh, But I do think we have a lot of opportunities for growth. We don't need to have crazy growth, uh, but we have to continue to grow. Uh, and, and I think we have to continue to grow from a tourism standpoint. I think that is one of the missed opportunities. We have some tourism here, but I think that is a missed opportunity from a revenue standpoint here in Knoxville. If you look at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and all the people that visit there, 
we have a great opportunity. And so, just like you said, come but don't stay, that's one of those things that with tourism we can accomplish that. Stay in our hotels and then have a safe drive. That's home. right, yeah. Come but don't stay long. There used to be a sign at, at the Oregon border that said that. <laughs> <laughs> come but don't stay. Didn't it's work. Like <laughs> All right, well, we are going to come back with a lightning round. Several questions these candidates answer in under 15 seconds. Back with those answers right after this.